Well, what you're looking at, boys, is the Indian Ridge uh, motorcycle shoes, aka motorcycle boots. Um, I just wanted to do a quick review, uh, just on the boot in general. No, I ain't going in real deep in this, but um, this is kind of what it looks like here. I guess the tongue is uh, kind of bigger, so you can tie the shoes, tie, tie the strings behind it, and leave the tongue sticking out. They are very padded. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really thick padding. It's got an ankle um, notch out right there for your ankle. Uh, and it feels like it's backed by some pretty stiff material right there. Uh, they're leather, but uh, <clears throat> to be honest, they don't they don't feel leather. Uh, maybe they need broken in. And these are, the, the, the traction on them is really good. I'll say that right off the bat, the traction is the best I've had in a pair of riding boots. And I've got Icons and Harley riding tennis shoes and uh, Harley boots. And um, I don't know how to pronounce the other names, like the knees or whatever, uh, riding shoes. So anyways, long story short, I got these uh, about a month and a half ago. And I've worn them out riding probably six or seven times. And I knew right away when I got them, it was going to be an issue. Uh, it's not with the quality of the boot on the exterior, but um, I got one size, one shoe fits me perfect. The other shoe kills my feet, and I've never had that happen before, and I messaged the company. Now, I did get them on Amazon, though, but I messaged the company and told them about it. I've never got a response back on it, and it's the second pair I've had. I had a pair before these that someone got me for my birthday, and the seam busted on them. And it wasn't a big deal, but I wore them out in the rain one time with that seam busted. I did try to glue it back, but the seam busted on the other ones, and I got soaked. My feet got soaked, so I quit wearing them. I never even got them back out again. Well, um, that was the brown ones, so I seen these ones online. I was like, well, maybe I'll give them another try because the reviews were so good, and they're good boots. I mean, they're nice boots. The one shoe that fits me good is good to go if the other one fit like that i'd have no problems with these and i didn't ask for another pair of boots when i messaged the company i asked for them to send me another right foot shoe so i can at least have a pair of shoes that fit because i can't even wear them i mean they're killing my feet when i'm wearing them i was hoping they would get broken in but this thing is so stiff here this toe box in the front i mean i don't know how long it takes to get broken in but i mean it kills and by the end of a ride my right foot is killing and just looking at them you don't see any difference they look exactly the same so it's got to be some problem with the uh craftsmanship on the inside but i mean it's not a big deal to me i don't care um you know that shit happens and that it does happen i could care less obviously it happened on the first pair of boots i had and i still went with it so anyways long story short it's a great boot, but uh, maybe you size it up a size and a half size or something, and you won't have that problem like I had. But I got them to the size I normally wear, and um, probably should have went up a half size bigger because the one shoe fits me perfect, and I got room to spare. But the other one is so tight by the time it literally cuts off circulation in my toes. It feels like my foot falls asleep by the time I'm done riding in them. So, anyways, that's what they look like. Um, I do like the artwork that came in the box, which is just like a picture. I like the back of them where it says uh, live free. Uh, I do like that. Um, the traction's off it, it, it is really good. That's the best traction, like I said, of any boot that I've had. I mean, it grips the ground real nice. But other than the one shoe not fitting me, I'd recommend them. But I just say recommend a size up. But I'm disappointed in the customer service there because I've heard good things about their customer service. But... In my experience, it didn't happen, so I would not buy them again just for that reason. I, I usually don't buy anything where the customer service is not real good, just because you're you, you get a you, you get what if I get another pair and the seams busted out or I can't fit either of the shoes. I mean, and I can't get customer service to help me. So, yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but that's life. Anyways, guys, take it easy.